All right, uh, let me get this camera on. There, is that recording? I, th I think that's good. Okay, today we're gonna do a quick orientation to EOD work, explosive ordnance device coverage. Uh, some of you will be acting as EODs, some of you will be supporting the EODs. So here's a quick orientation. We have two main kinds of IEDs to worry about here in Afghanistan. First type is buried in the ground where the earth is soft enough to allow that. Second type is on top of the ground and covered with something to disguise or hide it. Let's take a quick look. Uh, just visually, I, I can sometimes pick something out that looks suspicious, not buried as well as it might be. There looks like, what's that? A 120 millimeter shell and a fuse or fusible link going to it. Oh, some sort of wire. That wasn't too hard to spot. But did you spot this one to the left, hidden in the grass? Probably not. So we can't just always rely on things being obvious and out in the open. Uh, let's take a look at this. These are two pieces of explosive that are buried in garbage on top of the ground. Not too hard to find. Looks suspicious when you see garbage like that. Always be cautious. But that gets a little more complicated when you have large garbage piles, complicated stuff going on. What to do then? Well, definitely leave that to an EOD tech. Uh, I'm going to grab a mine detector out of this supply truck. And immediately it starts beeping with a low tone. I'm going to turn on my right panel, my visual display of that mine detector, and it's already showing me some red splotches that designate a general location of IEDs. You can hear as I get closer, tones get faster and higher pitched. Now, normally I would want to stay three to five meters away from a pressure plate oriented explosive. If it's controlled by a cell phone, I'd want to be a couple hundred meters away. But these two are actually training devices, so they're not going to explode when I walk over them. But they do light up and give me an indication with my mine detector. As I walk away from them, I pick up another one up ahead of me. This one is going to be a little more dangerous. I'm going to get down on my belly and approach it slowly. In my equipment, I have a diffusal kit. I'm going to reach out with that diffusal kit. And when I'm close enough, I get the option using my ACE interaction key to diffuse it. Click it. Hope for the best and it pops up above the surface. I can then take it, put it in my inventory, except this one might not fit. Ah, it won't fit because I don't have a backpack. If I had a backpack, I could pick it up. Good note there. Okay, let's go on. These two set off my mine detector at a good distance. Again, they're just training, so they're not pressure plate connected. However, what about this pile? Getting some kind of a reading. Seems to be on this end. Oh, there it is. Not close enough yet. This is the tense part. There we go. 
Notice how I creep, crept closer and closer very slowly. Okay. That's what you need to know. Uh, sometimes, the one other thing is that sometimes as you approach uh, an IED or a mine, your mine detector will see it. You'll start noticing it. And once you've clearly observed it, it will go from a hazy mark on your uh, visual display to a solid, specific, exact mark about where that explosive is. And at the same time, the audio signals will stop. That's the ideal situation, but that depends on server settings, I believe. That concludes our training for today.